Hey, wonderful person. We're back here talking about how we can get the narcissist to be repelled by us. <laughs> so you don't even have to recognize them. You may not even know they're there, but they will definitely know that you don't fit into their lives. So how to go about this? Now, this is good for if you're dating people or if you're just getting new friends or even if you're getting a job. You don't want to get into a job that's uh, got a narcissist running the place or going to be your boss or your supervisor. You want to tap out on that on the interview. Okay, I know you want to win all the interviews and you want to get all the jobs and you want to be called for a second date and all that stuff, but a lot of times, honestly, it's good that you're not because... You, that's called dodging the bullet. You're dodging the bullet <laughs> because you would have got shot down by this narcissist that you would have had to leave anyway. So here we are avoiding it in the first place. How can you get them to avoid you? Well, let's figure this out because the narcissist wants a servant in their life. They want a servant, a subservient servant. They don't want a, a servant. I mean, they'll put up with it, but they rather not have a servant in their life that is always trying to rebel. They want a subservient. They don't understand why you have your own mind, why you have your own opinions. They get aggravated that you have your own opinion and that you air it. They don't see, I put this out of my mouth a bit. <laughs> they don't see why you have an opinion, why you have your own attitude, why you want your own life. They don't get it. The, the attitude of a narcissist is that if you would just shut up and do what they told you, everything would be perfect. Now, if that was true, of course, their life would be perfect, and their life is far from perfect, especially when you take a look at all the relationships they had through their lives, all the jobs they went through, all the friends they went through, all the romantic partners they went through, and all the, the wreckage they left behind, far from perfect. But this is a disorder. So the way you can get them to be repelled by you is to express confidence and brash boldness. What does that look like? What, what am I talking about? It's not just confidence. It's like, it's kind of like this, right? I am confidently saying what I want to say and that I can do anything that I want to do. When you express that to a narcissist, they, they don't, you don't fit into their life. You have your own opinion. You are confident. They see everybody as a possible threat in their life, a possible threat to their life. And the worst thing that they could imagine is getting a possible, a new possible threat into their life that's confident and capable. That is the worst thing that they could imagine. A new adversary on their inner battlefield that's confident and capable of, of whatever they want. That's, that's a nightmare to the narcissist. So express confidence and capability in doing whatever it is that you do. Also, be brave. Like, I'm, I don't know how that's going to happen, but I'm going to figure it out. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to do it. That the narcissist doesn't know what the heck that's about. <laughs> I've seen a narcissist... Um, get actually upset at that. There was a guy who, it was, the narcissist had their window open and the neighbor was expressing his confidence at being able to fix anything. He said, I can fix anything. All I need is the tools and there's nothing on this earth I can't fix. Seems like a great, nice, who cares, right? <laughs> well, the narcissist was triggered by that and repeated that for about three years. Couldn't get over it. It's the level of confidence. It's that the possibility that this person could get into their life and would could wreak absolute havoc in their life. And that's where that trigger is coming from. So if you express confidence like this, they will sniff that out and be gone in a minute. They will not, they will drop you. You will dodge the bullet. They won't call back for a second date. You won't get a call back on an interview, the second interview. <laughs> if the boss is a narcissist, it won't happen because they don't want you like that. They want a servant. The third thing I'd use 
is that you don't do negativity in your life. You just pass it over. You're not interested in it anymore. And you just don't do it anymore. You're done with it in your life. I know that doesn't sound like a big statement to the rest of us, but to a narcissist, it, sound, it sounds a lot like you're not going to put up with their crap. You're not going to put up with their nonsense. You're not going to look, overlook all the BS and the gaslighting. And they know that they need all that stuff. And if you're not going to put up with it, you don't have any place in their life. It's a big statement to a narcissist that you're not, you're not going to do negativity you're not going to do negativity anymore. You're just done with it. You don't do gossip. You don't listen to people complaining. You don't listen to people whining. You don't even listen to the country music where the guy's whining that his, ba his baby mama left him and even took his dog. You're not going to do any of that. You don't do any of that anymore because life is too short. The narcissist will hear this as, as some kind of bragging um, uh, power play. That's how they'll see it. And they want that top position in any power. They want a superiority gap where they are on top and everybody else or anybody else is down here. And when you start sounding like you're up here or up here, they don't want anything to do with you. So do those three things. Basically be a very confident, very driven type of person, even if it's BS, even if you don't know what you're talking about. Do that anyway. It will scare the bejeebus out of a narcissist. They will totally be gone. And that's what you want. You want you want the garlic around your neck like vampires are in the room, right? And this is the garlic around your neck to the vampire narcissist. Confidence. Capability. Determined. Not going to put up with BS anymore. Not even gonna, not even gonna tolerate it. It's not even in there. Not even listening to it anymore. The, they'll say things like they'll try and run that down. Who does she think she is? She's not gonna do this or that. She's so full of herself. Oh please, I'm never seeing that person again. Or like this, um, when you state something confident. Oh, that jerk said he was so confident he could do anything, fix anything he wants. Oh my goodness, he was so full of himself. You know, that kind of stuff. It really aggravates them. So, <laughs> that way you don't have to be on guard all the time. And by saying this stuff to yourself, you'll actually become that. You'll actually become a more determined, more capable, more bold, more brave person. The kind of person, and then you'll actually become, instead of needing to wear garlic, <laughs> or have holy water to keep away the vampires, you will become the garlic and the holy water. And then you won't, you won't have to fake it anymore. They'll see you a mile away, a mile away. They'll have a sixth sense. For, you'll swear that they're psychic to be able <laughs> to stay away from you, right? And you might actually get a little hostility from them, but that, that hostility will be to get rid of you as far a distance as you can. Don't even come near me. Don't even be in my world because you're dangerous as far as they're concerned. Okay, well, that's the three things to, that I would use and do use to keep narcissists out of my life. <laughs> and I'm trying to embody all that as well to become the thing that repels them the most, which is honestly something that elevate, elevates us <laughs> into our highest selves. And that's what they don't want. They, they want you to be your lowest self. They want you to be a servant. They want you to be a robot. They don't want you to be an individual, growing, happy, brave, confident, successful person. They don't want to see that. They don't want to bother with that. And if you put that down, oh, I'll give you a fourth tip, a freebie, bragging. Brag on your date. Now, when I'm on a date, or in an interview, or just hanging out with people, and somebody brags about something, I'm down with it. I'm like, wow, all right, <laughs> all right, you got that, you go, all right. It, it's usually not, it, as long as it's not something ridiculous, um, like maybe they had, they, they started a business, 
and within six months it's doing fabulously and they are just bragging about it I'm a, I'm a great business person I didn't even know and now I started a, a business six months ago and it's doing fantastic I'm bringing in all kinds of money I couldn't I can't even believe it I'm like go 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 a narcissist oh my god that will so trigger them they will be so gone they will be so gone and that also goes into being confident and bold and brave they don't want any of that they don't want any of that so there are your three four tips on how to repel the narcissist and uh, never see them in your life again